All right, y'all. Now, I could say y'all made me do it, but I am the one that got in my car and went down there and did it. So I won't put all of the blame on you all who went to Hobby Lobby and showed your pattern hauls and made me see some things that I picked up and put back. And then after you said some things about it, made me want to go back and get it. And then I got in my car and went back and get got it. Yeah. You are part of the blame. I will tell you that. However, I'm probably the biggest part of this blame. So welcome, everybody. This is Martika with Martika J Makes. And as you can hear, I'm still a little bit under the weather, but I am getting better. I probably sound a whole lot better than a whole lot worse than what I am because my voice has been going in and out. But I am going to share with you all my second pattern haul from Hobby Lobby. Yes, I said my second. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this started. But the first pattern that I'm showing you all is uh, not from this second haul. This is from the first haul. And my daughter found this under her car seat uh, because, as I told you, the first haul, we went there together and I my bag tipped over and this fell out. So this is New Look 6560. And uh, yeah, this is, as you can see, a really cute wrap top. Uh, this is for Wovens. In this haul, I will not go through all of the uh, the fabrics that's needed, but I'll just give you some basics, like if there's notions needed or anything. But yeah, this is so, I mean, every last view on this pattern is so cute. And I believe I would sew all of them. There are three views. You have A here, if you can see past the uh, stickers there with the long sleeve and the ruffles. Then you have view C, which is the one that she is wearing that has like um, a cuffed or even or either like a mock cuffed uh, sleeve there. And then you have view B, which is which has the ruffles like view A, but you have a different type of uh, like a ruffly type sleeve. Very, very cute. This entire pattern is cute. And I'm really surprised that I didn't already have this one, but I, I don't. So. This does not count in the second pattern haul, but I am showing you this because it did come from my first one. So now on to the second uh, half of this pattern haul. And I'm going to say the final half of the pattern haul uh, because I don't think there's anything else that I need. But let me see how many I got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. 16, 17, 18. You guys made me go back and get 18 patterns. Mm, mm, mm. However, in case you need to go back and get some more, um, this one is New Look 6575. And um, you guys, this is just so cute. Like I said, I've been watching everybody's pattern hauls as many as possible while I've been kind of laying down and just letting my body rest. And I had picked up this pattern, but I have put it back. And I think it was Shatoka who was talking about this pattern. And the closer I looked at it, I remember having like a, um, it was a swimsuit cover up like years ago that I had purchased that was kind of along this same design. And I'm telling y'all, I wore that thing out. I wore it with jeans. I wore it with leggings and it was so comfortable. But um, yeah, that's what this reminded me of. So I went on ahead and made a note of that and, and uh, jotted that down. But I do love the way that she has this styled with some leggings, just the way that I used to wear mine. And here are the line drawings here. If you all want to see the different views, you have your uh, sleeveless, you have your um, your like straight sleeve, and then you have more a, of a uh, like a wider sleeve, like a statement sleeve there. So that is what you have there. Now, uh, as far as like what's needed, this is for wovens and um, you just need some elastic. Uh, if you're doing view B, you just need some cording and um maybe some wide 
flexible trim it's saying that's optional so it just depends on what design you are going for there so very very cute now the next one trying to find a place to stack these here so they don't topple over so the next pattern and i thought a couple of times about this one but it is a uh, 6210 and it's these maxi dresses these are the maxis these are a little shorter dresses i actually do think that i have a pattern with these dresses if i'm not mistaken i believe that it is a simplicity pattern i could not remember it was 99 cents i went ahead and grabbed it anyway because when i was there uh last week the first time around my daughter showed me this pattern i was like nah i think i got something like that already but like i said i went on ahead and grabbed it anyway so i do really like this pattern i like that razor back up there and then i like this uh wider back there very very cute both very easy to wear and like i said you have your short and you can uh, make it longer you can have the shortened option um this is for knits yes uh, all the way and you guys there are no notions needed just your fabric and your thread and your sewing machine and you are ready to make yourself a really cute dress so the next one that i got i really contemplated on this one even being from home okay so this is new look try and take that glare off this is new look six three four seven and you guys this dress here it's it's like your basic you know just like your long dress got a little bit of an a-line going on there with it but i did not get this pattern for this when i looked at this again i thought these would make some really cute like little slip dresses these are really really cute and they're like just easy one hour dresses that you can wear and you all know me i love turning simplest uh the, the simplest things into just something that looks so classy and and that's what this pattern is you guys so i got it like for this you can layer this under like um say like a chiffon duster or something like that uh you can wear it alone with some really cute strappy sandals i mean you really can do a lot with this so um i can't remember who it was i know oh, i'm calling y'all out i think it was shatoka again who talked about this one so <laughs> i won't call everybody out but yeah y'all know what you're doing out there but anyway here are the line drawings for this dress you have your like your sleeveless you have your spaghetti strap and then you have like your cap sleeve there very very cute you can uh do a lengthening and shortening effect as far as the notions that's needed well this is for wovens just fyi and uh you can do like um you will need just like of course your thread uh, single fold bias tape and then you also need some hem tape and wide elastic uh, that's for view c so just pay attention to the view that you are doing very very nice basic pattern and then this next one chatoka again I'm going to stop watching her. Uh, 6346. No, I'm not. <laughs> but the way that she broke down this pattern, I was like, you know what? Yeah, you, that is really true. This skirt really is cute. And I kept looking at this skirt. And I was like, you know what? I am going to go ahead and grab that because I do like the uh the contrast of the buttons and the skirt is just a really cute like a a-line type skirt you have it in different um lengths there and yeah it is styled really really cute so i can even see wearing this with a pair of really cute tennis shoes i have some in my closet that i think something like this will look really cute with so just getting the right type of fabric you guys it is the fabric that makes the pattern if you see a pattern and you don't necessarily care for the style of it so much um as far as like it's may may not be all that so to speak but mind you i do like the style of this but just picture it and imagine it in a different type of fabric the fabric that you would make it in and, and just think about it from that view that changes everything so here are your line drawings it's pretty much the same except for without the buttons in the back 
And then um, as far as this is uh, for wovens, you can use a ponte uh, type knit, but um, you just need your thread for view A, you need eight buttons. For view B, the shorter version, you need six buttons. And for view C and D, um, let's take a look at this. Okay, you have no buttons on the front for C and D. So you do need a seven inch invisible zipper for that one. So the next one that I picked up was 6623. And you guys, um, this one is just a basic slip skirt. Now, I'm going to tell you, I saw a few people with this. So I can't really call out who exactly encouraged me to go get this one. However, I do like the way, the, I, I like her fabric on this one. I like all of these views. But the one that really caught my attention was this one right here. Because I love that tie, the elastic waist with the tie. I can just picture so many things being done with that. Can you, uh, okay, picture this with me. You can do like a basic tie, like a, 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 a pattern fabric or something like that. But can you see this in like a gold, like a satin, tie, a silky type fabric, something like that with like one of those shimmery ties instead? How cute would that be? So you can really dress this one all the way up or dress it as far down as you want to, but very, very cute. And uh, yeah, should have picked it up the first time, but I didn't. However, I just needed a little help seeing the vision, that's all. So here are your line drawings for each of these. And then this one has, a uh, UC does have a belt attached to it, as you can see. Has the belt attached. View B, the one that the model is wearing, that's like your mid-length. And then view A is your shorter length, the one I showed you with the tie. Now, you these are, uh, this is for like a woven, like your silky types, things like that. You can do it with like cotton and cotton types. Uh, but as far as the notions, you do need like thread, wide elastic. If you're doing view A with that tie, you need to like your wide ribbon or whatever it is you're wanting to use for your tie. Very cute. Now the next one is, and I went back and forth about this one, but I have someone to blame. 6094. You guys, how cute is this dress here? I went back and forth about this one because, I mean, it's really, really cute. And then I said, well, will I ever wear this? But you never know where you're going. So I looked at it closer. I put it back. Okay, I put it back the first time I went there too. I put it back the second time I went. So I went to Instagram. Let me see who made who might have made this before. Thanks to Leisha, Creativity by T. She had made this for her birthday dress. I uh, just uh, think a couple of years or so ago. And I remember when she made this, I didn't realize it was this pattern. Very, very cute, you guys. And the fact that I do believe it does have pockets as well. Nope, it don't have pockets, but you can add some. I thought her hand was in her pocket, but you can definitely add some if you choose to. But you guys, that dress is really, really cute. Now you have a view here, uh, like you have five different views. You have one here that has like a little rose accent there. You have some straight line dresses there. Um, and then you have UB and then you have view C here that shows it. I'm trying to see what's different between view B and... Okay, so view C, you have um, just a, a bit of a different pattern action, or I don't know if that's some thread action going on, but maybe like two different uh, fabrics or something like that happening with that. But you only need... This is for wovens. You can even use wool with this, okay? Um, great for the wintertime. So... A one 22 inch zipper, a hook and eye, and a single fold bias tape is all that you need for this particular pattern. Very, very cute. So let's move on. And this one is 6615. Very cute. Saw a couple of people talking about this one. I had this one on my first time around and put it back, but. I heard somebody say how this would be such a 
nice wedding dress like to go as a guest um i don't want to speak their name but shatoka again so um and i thought about this in the most beautiful say like brocade fabric or something like that would be gorgeous i have a couple of weddings to go to so far this year and i'm debating on this i have some more dresses that i could you know do uh, go to the wedding in but i am debating on this really 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 nice dress and you have uh, like this straight line here you have you could do it with the straps and even still dress that up you guys and, or you can do it if you want like a more of an a-line effect and more of a flowy type you could do that too and that just that print is just gorgeous so yeah and then i i went to youtube not youtube i went to instagram to see who might have made it and there are a couple of ladies on there so this this is just beautiful okay it's just so beautiful um you don't even need a lot of jewelry as you can see which is my jam because i don't wear a whole lot of jewelry anyway so yeah yeah i went on ahead and grabbed that 99 cents i mean you can't beat it go ahead and grab it so here are the line drawings on that one pretty much the same in the front this is for woven fabrics and you just need one 20 inch invisible zipper for this one very pretty and then this one saw several of you grab this six five seven three is the pattern number and you guys i actually did not grab this one and put it back i just kind of lifted it up to look at it after drawing i was like uh nah i'm not sure if i'll nah no never mind however i went on ahead and grabbed it simply because i have to admit i do like layering so why didn't I just grab it in the first place? <laughs> because that's that's how I shop. I do like to think about things sometimes before I go and get them. But I I do I love the basicness of this. It's so simple, so easy to sew. You can do this any time of the year. You can do it with or without the uh the the duster or the cape, whatever you want to call it. You have your long dress with the split. You have your shorter dress with a long sleeve, or you can put some long sleeves on that dress. You can mix and match all type of things here. And um, yeah, it's it's just a really nice, basic, you know, basic look that you could really dress up. Now you can even just picture this because I did have to picture this. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't crazy about, you know, this look, this look here. That's my opinion, okay? I just wasn't crazy about the uh, the combination there. However, I said, hmm, the black booties, black dress, black cape, black on black on black, or we could do, you know, do some different things with that, some, you know, different colors in here, or a printed cape with the solid dress or vice versa. Yeah, we could do a lot with this. So. You do need, um, you, you, you have to pay attention to the fabrics because you can use knits and wovens with this one. But as far as like your notions, you do need a 20 inch zipper and a hook and eye. Okay. So, um, yeah, just pay close attention to that because that is what you need for that. Now, the next one that I grabbed, and I just grabbed this because I just thought it was really, really nice, and it's 6106. And I love the, like, the summer look of this, the spring and summer look of this dress. I like her look on here. I love the wedges with the, with the uh, like, the A-line knee-length skirt, the tank. I just think it's really cute. And, um, yeah, these are all skirts, okay? So there are three different views of skirts. And then, um, as far as like what you need for this, and it has pockets, I know y'all know the stat, but you need, uh, this is for wovens, and you just need a seven inch zipper, a hook and eye. If you're doing view A, it does have some accent there with some wide ribbon, or view B and C, you do need six buttons. Um, it's optional for, for view B, because that's where your buttons go. So just know that that is optional. Same for view C here. All right. The next one up. 
And I looked at this like a few times. I just had to look at the pattern itself. I didn't go anywhere to see if this was made, but this is 6892. And I'll be honest, I don't remember seeing anybody talking about this one. And I got to looking at all of the different options. You guys, there are six different options to this pattern. You have the one that she's wearing. You have this one with just the uh, the shorter sleeve version with the elastic um, sleeves at the end there. You have this one with that little ruffle there. You have this one with just like a tie up of, of the tank on the sides. Then you have this one with the ruffle um, neckline. Then you have like just kind of plain Jane, um, that one there. You can do so many things, but I got this for F, okay? For like the tank with the tie up or you don't want the tie up, you can do that as a whole. But I just told you I like layering things. So I have like dusters and things that does like when I wear my tank tops or whatever, and you don't want your bra straps to show, then I have like some chiffon dusters that I could throw on top of it. This is something that I can make really quick. This is like your really quick, how many yards of fabric does View F take? View F takes like, if you're making the largest one, one and a half yards of fabric. So you guys, we are talking less than two yards of fabric. So I have like scrap fabric and things like that and I'm thinking that this would be really cute, even if I wanted it, if it's not long enough, if I wanted to lengthen it, I like that fabric that they got that in. But cute with like some jeans or some shorts, you know, for the summertime, just very, very cute. Or if I want to dress this up, I can throw it on under a blazer or a duster or whatever I need to. It's just very cute. So yeah, just think about this one if you're still jumping out there to Hobby Lobby to grab uh, some sale items. Okay, so the next one that I got, and this is one that I just kind of looked at myself too. It's 6702, and it's one of like the, the later patterns here. And I got this because I looked at the detail of this pattern. And it's just a skirt, it's just two views here. You just have your longer version and your shorter version. She is wearing the shorter version. So that means that the, this one is more like a maxi if this is view B that she is wearing, okay? And she looks way taller than me. I'm only 5'2". But you guys, look at the detail. Let me get, hold on. Let, let me get this close. Because I need y'all to feel what I'm feeling. Look at the detail of this skirt. It's like a cutout there. It's a, You know what I thought when I saw that? Color blocking. So easy to color block this skirt. I mean, I don't know if you can see the detail even with hers being a solid, but it's just so, so nice. But yeah, that co this color, mm, mm, mm. can you imagine like two, three different colors? You could even do four or five different colors and just make this so unique. Oh my gosh, I just thought of something. Let me see. This does take like wovens, but I'm thinking of like a lightweight um, denim. Can you imagine like different shades of denim? Oh Lord, it's so much you can do with this pattern. So there is, here's the back piece. So the back piece you don't have, let me focus that here. The back one, uh, the sorry, the line drawing of the back, you don't have like five different sections, okay? However, you do have what looks like to be three. So you do still have, sorry, four. So you do still have the option of color blocking in the back as well. Or you could do your back in solid and color block the front. You can be so creative with this skirt, it's not even funny. So like I was saying, um, as far as the fabric, this does take wovens, but you can use it with double knit and ponte as well. Um, it all, all it needs is a seven inch invisible zipper. That's it. Easy, easy to, I'm, this, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be so fun. So here's another one. My daughter was wondering why I did not get this, but after, um, I forgot whose I was watching and she grabbed this and what caught my eye about this because when i was looking at this pattern the first time it was the long version that i was looking at 
I don't wear a whole lot of just long coats. Now it gets very, very cold, you know, here where I am, but um, I, I like to move quick because I'm going to the car, I'm running back inside or whatever, or I'm running to the store, but I don't need a whole lot of coat, you know, to, um, to tie me up because I usually have on boots. However, it was the shorter versions, you guys, that caught my eye. And the fact that it had a hood, the reason why I did not grab it was because, you know, I was like, well, there's no closures on it. Well, you know what? Like my daughter said, she said, make a belt. Yeah, just make a belt. Or I can put my own snaps on there. If I wanted to, I could put a button or two on there. Very cute. I love that mid version there. You can even do a little jacket. But I love that mid version. And if I wanted to, if I want something lightweight and long, I could do view A. But view B is the reason I got this pattern. Now, there are your line drawings, pretty much basic. They both have, they're, they're, uh, it, all of the uh, views have a hood. Just know that all you need for this is thread, you guys. Now, I will, the fabrics on this is like your double face fleece um double face or reversible fabrics only double face wool types uh fleece again ponte uh just know that the wrong side of the fabric will show on this pattern there is um there is no lining other than in view c you have like a pocket lining but there is no lining okay um but yeah very very that's, that's going to be cute. And I need something like that that's kind of lightweight for the fall. Now, the next one. I've kind of pondered over this one, actually, since it's come out. Uh, 6680. And what made me go ahead and get it, one, is that it was only 99 cents. Let's just be honest. <laughs> and two, I never really paid attention to the detail of the sleeves. But y'all, let me bring this closer. Would y'all look at the details of the sleeve on both views? It's showing you how that looks in the printed fabric, even in the solid fabric. You're going to be able to see the details of the sleeve. And although her arm is twisted in a different way, I don't think that, I'm not sure. Let me see if you can see it under here. Now you can kind of see it underneath this 99 cent sticker. Let's see what we can see. See if she gives us a little more detail there. Eh, kind of, sort of. I wish they would have kind of posed her in a different way so we could really see the detail here. But, you know, other than that, it's almost like a fitted, like, you know, sleeve. Um, and you can kind of see the detail there. But I'm really liking that detail in the line drawing. So that's why I got that. You, As you can see, you can do this like in a... Uh, with the bar type that's fabric but the bar look across the back of the the neck or the back or you can do it just totally closed in i like it both ways knowing me so that it's versatile and it could be worn kind of like anytime i would i don't know i don't know it just depends it probably depends on how much fabric i have as well but here are your line drawings and like i said you have the opening there and then you have the closure there as well uh this is for knits okay just fyi and uh, the notions that you need is thread and wide elastic. That's it. That is it. I can see this as a very easy to sew dress. Then the next one I got is 6762. And you guys, I kind of pondered on this one too. However, y'all know me in my lounge set. So I don't even know why I was pondering on this one. But I was like, this would make some just some really cute just sets, you know, <laughs> um, with that fabric that, you know, maybe you don't have an idea of anything. You know, I have a couple of fabrics that I, I'm not, it's like, I don't know what that would look good in, but everything looks good in sets like these. I love my wide leg pants. I love these little tops with the wide collar there. I mean, you have little skirts, you have your long maxi skirts, you have like your, uh, some more maxi skirts here that's more flowy. At the end, you got a belt there if you need to. You can even add that belt to the waist of the pants if you wanted to. I mean, you have options here. So, and it says that it is easy. Um, but here are your line drawings. Like I said, you have all of your basic pieces. 
This is one of those, uh, I like to call this like a travel set. If you are one who don't like to pack a lot when you travel, this is one of those patterns, you guys, that you can take and you can take like maybe some coordinating fabric and just make up all of these pieces and be able to mix and match your entire trip, depending on how long you're there. And that way you don't have to pack a lot of clothes, you know, maybe take a two or three, a three of the tops, I would say, because of course I would like to change out my tops more often, but you can mix and match them with the pants or the maxi skirt or the shorter skirt, and it'll look like a different outfit every day. So yeah, thinking outside the box, you guys, so this is for knits, okay? Another reason I got this. And uh, all you need is elastic, wide elastic. That's it. That's for your waist. You, yeah, wide elastic. That's all. So the next one is 6650. I had picked this up before and I had put it back. But I picked it back up. Don't know who to blame yet. Sure, I'll think of somebody. But. I, I don't know. I just like, I like the way that this fits. And on top of that, the closer I looked at it, y'all know how I love me a rib knit. This is a rib knit. And I think that it is very, very cute. She has on like her flats with that, you know, just a little bit of a platform, little short heel there. But you can put this on with your wedges. Uh, you could dress it up. You could, I mean... You put this on with some slides. I mean, it, it, it's really cute. It's nothing to scream about, but it's very, very nice. And it's another one of those patterns. Just think about the fabric. What if I was to do a dress like this, if I wanted to lengthen the belt some, if I wanted to lengthen the sleeve a little bit, or if I wanted to take the sleeves off altogether and make it sleeveless, and if I wanted to do this, say, like in a shimmery knit and put this on with some uh, strappy sandals, uh, the, the heels or something, and make this look so dressy. Y'all, think outside the box. Yeah, should have picked that up the first time, but I didn't. However, whoever picked it up, thank you. <laughs> so the next one is 6616, and I just have two more after this. Um... Yeah, this is another one that I have been contemplating on. Wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not. Really wasn't a big decision to make. But then again, it probably should have been because it's really cute the more I look at it. It's funny how when there's a clearance price on it, it's funny how much cuter <laughs> that pattern is. And the reason why you should have it. So maybe that had something to do with it. But you have like your little jumpsuit there. And then you have like your um, dress, which I think is very pretty. And I like the fact that they put that drawing in like a, a printed fabric. And then you have uh, like your little jumper there with the shorts. And yeah, both of these are really cute. They're showing you how this would look in like more of a, a print instead like the uh, stripes. Very, very cute. And uh, let's look and see the line drawing. So you do have a belt attached. This belt is not detached. And I like that because you never have to worry about your belt. However, do understand that if you want the option of not wearing a belt, then you might want to just make a separate belt. But that belt is attached. And uh, you just need, let me see, this, this is for wovens, okay? Um, however, I'm going to be honest with you. I, when I saw this, I thought this was a knit at first, but I'm not going to lie. I think that I would probably, depending on the type of knit, I personally would probably try to make it and just see what happens. Just make sure it's not something you have, you know, a sentimental connection to. Um, the only requirements for this is thread and one 22 inch invisible zipper. Very, very cute. Very cute pattern. So the next one, next to the last one, is 6602. You guys, I, to be honest with you, I don't even know how I missed this one the first time around. Because all of these are cute. I mean, they're basic, but when I look at this pattern, this is me, okay? <laughs> That's what I had to tell myself. 
Love her dress with the big pockets in the front. <laughs> That's me all day. Okay, I love that. Love that dress with the big pockets in the front. But y'all already know. Mm, mm, mm. Loving the pants with the tunic with the, the slits up the side. So, so cute. Not only that, it looked like you got some buttons on the shoulder. Y'all, it don't get no better than this because you can do so many things. I look at this and I think vacation. And actually, all of these could easily be like vacation pieces where you can put like different shoes with them. You're on a cruise or something like that. You know, you could put on like your little slides and go to dinner or and just be comfortable the whole time. You can throw on your tennis shoes with any of these, you know, and tour wherever you're going. These are just some really nice, comfortable pieces and they are easy to sew. Here are your line drawings, just as basic as the front, but so cute. And these call for wovens as well, uh, mainly linens. And that's what I thought about when I saw this was a like lin a linen type fabric for, especially for this one right here and that one too. This one, I almost thought about knit and I didn't notice this before, but you have like your little buttons on all of these. Um, but you do need, of course, two buttons <laughs> for uh, views. It says views A, B, or C, okay? All those tops or dress tops, you need two buttons. And then for the pants, you just need wide elastic. Very, very cute, very cute. Now it doesn't look like the pants have pockets, but you know, you can add your own or you can uh, grab another pattern that you have that have pockets if you do want pockets and just put that with it. And last but not least, I didn't even see this the first time around, but this is one of the later patterns as well. You can tell by the all white cover. It's 6706. And you guys, this is like a pullover. Um, let's just see what we're calling this. It doesn't even say what a jacket. Okay, it's like a pullover jacket, pretty much. Okay, it kind of reminds you of a hoodie, but not. It reminds you of a tunic, but not. It's kind of like the two mixed in one, but they're calling it a jacket. But I just think that this is really cute because, okay, just picture this. If you work like in an office or something and it stays cold in there, this is something that you can sew to wear over, say like your long sleeve top, your pants or whatever, put it on with your boots and some leggings and you just keep this on all day and you're layered up and you're looking fashionable. Your ties there, you can use any tie you want, something plain or something decorative. This one is like buttoned up here. So if you wanted to do that instead, you can. Just very cute. And it looks like it looks like View B does not have a hood, but View A does. And this calls for like um, your sweatshirt fleece type and flannel um, type of fabrics, boucle and wool blend. So just think about that if you're thinking about this uh, particular pattern. You do need for view A, you will need some wide twill tape and that is for your ties or whatever you want to put in place of your ties. And then for B, you need two toggle closures. So that's what those are, they're toggle closures, okay? To um, close and button that up. So yeah, very, very cute. So yeah, that's all that I got y'all, I'm telling y'all. That's all that I need. Don't y'all show me nothing else, okay? Cause I ain't going back. All right. <laughs> Out of all, between all of us, we probably all got just about everything that new look made. Okay. <laughs> In all reality, we probably grabbed them all you guys. So yeah, that is my second pattern haul for new look at the Hobby Lobby 99 cent special. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and thank you all for sharing and sharing your ideas as well because you all inspire me also. So have a great one and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.